The next rig I'm going to touch on is a rig that has been made famous by quarter boss Danny Febras. And last year I used it extensively on Rurikopi's dam and had phenomenal results with it. Now to build it I need the IQ2 in 20 pound, the quarter IQ2. I need a curve shank size 2 and I need a micro ring swivel pretty much it. So to start off with I need a fairly long piece of fluorocarbon. Again if you want to make it work nicer for you then just pull it through your fingers and it will just become a little bit straighter. Now what I want to do is make sure that I start the rig with the longest piece on the bend side of the hook. And all I'm going to do is make a grinner knot, so just like that, and it's going to be a four turn grinner. So I'm going to go through once, twice, three times, four, and let's do it five for luck. There's no hard and fast rules. Then pull it tight. Now pretty much the only way to pull this tight, if I can call it that, is by taking your thumb and forefinger, pressing it against this side of the knot and then pulling at the same time. That ends up locking the knot. Then all you need to do is take the tag end, cut a piece off, and I just normally bend it back a bit, and then I just burn it with the lighter. Then I'm completely assured that that little sharp piece of the knot is not going to interfere anywhere. It's going to sit nice and tight on the back end of the shank. Now. I've got to add my micro ring swivel and then I go through the back end of the hook I first create my D so I've got to just shape that make sure that the knot is pretty much in line with the bob of the hook and then just manipulate it so it sits pretty much like that and then I just do a normal knotless knot one two three four five six once back over that once back over locks the knot in place and then I pull it through the back end of the hook and again with my thumb and forefinger I just manipulate it. Now you've just got to pull it a little bit so that that D is perfectly shaped and sitting on the back of the hook. What I'd like to do is to add a kicker. Let me just get my kickers and for that purpose let's use a white kicker for a change. push it over like that from the back end and I just go over the eye of the hook and just manipulate it so that it goes over the knot a little bit further there we go in place. Now I've got to just straighten it again and then make sure that the D is it remains on the shank of, of the hook on the back end. Now to finish it off fold the line double and to make a figure of eight knot 
fold it under and over. Just like that. Pull it to pull it nice and tight and cut it off. Ladies and gentlemen, the IQD rig.